need to be fresh. Okay, after you've got the wheel sanded and cleaned out good and then wiped down with lacquer thinner one more time, you go ahead and mask the outside of the wheel off and you just mask it and tuck the masking tape underneath the edge of the wheel as much as you can so you're not going to get any paint on the tire itself and make sure the masking tape is tucked underneath that rim that way you won't have any, uh, like say, any overspray showing from when you painted. And we'll finish masking this off and then I'll show you how to paint. We're going to start painting the wheel, and we're going to start with our silver. So it will be uh, the base coat of the, of the rim. And you want to say, you want you want to shake the can up really good. You want to hear the ball that's inside the can uh, move around freely. It's uh, ideal to shake the can for at least a, a minute or two, and that way that's all mixed up good. And then you go ahead and start your spraying. Spray small, light coats at a time. Main thing is to do is not is not uh, not put it on heavy at first. You want to get it evenly across. Just go ahead and spray it lightly. It's going to take a few coats. You know, you're not going to get it all on all at one time. Once you've got one coat on there, you're going to let it sit for at least 10 minutes, and then give it another coat. So. We're getting a good coat on here right now, and like I say, you can still see through it. But it's going to take a few coats, so just take your time. Don't get carried away or heavy with it, because then you're going to have runs, and you don't want to run your wheel. Then you're, <laughs> then you're starting from scratch, and you want to do that. So just take your time. Okay, we've got our three light coats on there. Now we're going to do our final coat of the silver. <laughs> Okay, we've got the silver on. Next step is to get the clear. We'll uh, shake the clear up here. And we'll put three coats of clear on that. Ten minutes between coats. And they'll have your clear built up on that and then they'll let them, let them dry overnight. And then we'll go for the black. So we'll uh, see you next step. And while we're waiting for that paint to dry on those wheels, I'll show you our next project. This is a 1970 Chevelle Malibu. This is not the SS model, but the Malibu itself. And this is my brother-in-law's car. He's had for over 10 years. And he just doesn't drive it, so he asked me to go through it and do a, a detail on it. Uh, we just uh, put a fresh paint job on it. And then uh, we have to wet sand and buff it yet. And then uh, clean up the jams. We're going to put, uh, put some new interior pieces in it, new carpet, and then we're going to see if we can sell it. So uh, this will be on the market at some point this next year. It's all original car. Uh, actually, it's nice to find one similar, you know, something like this because it's not been all cobbled up. It's an uh, older, older gentleman owned it before my brother-in-law, and uh, so it was never, never really beat up. So it makes somebody a nice, clean car when we get her finished up. Now we're ready to put the last coat of the clear on it, uh, out, of, out of three coats. This is the last coat. And put it on kind of heavy. You want it to look like it's going on nice, um, not dry. But there again, you don't want it too heavy where it's going to run the paint either. Get a nice, even, wet coat on the wheel. And that'll be the third coat. All right, we have that done. Now we did talk a little bit about uh, date codes on wheels. And if you're looking to find out what wheels you do have, what you look is near the valve stem, and right here is a YA. So that means these wheels were from a 69 Chevelle. But they're going to go on my 70s Chevelle. So if I really wanted to be a date coded car, I would have AO wheels, not YA. But you know, that really doesn't matter to me. And no one's going to see that because you've got a trim ring that hides that anyway. But I thought I'd let you know where you can locate that if you're interested. Maybe you already know that, but uh, yeah, right next to the valve stem and then your code YA. And uh, so that's a little information for you if you need it. And uh, next step is we're going to put the black insert in. Here's those templates I made that uh, showed you earlier. 
and then we're using, now using them to uh, put on the, the wheel. And they can look like this after you've made them. Like I say, you've got uh, your template and then the tape that I use on the back side, cut it out, and then just peel these two apart. The wax paper stays on the one side of the tape, and the other side of the tape is still sticky. So then you can use that and apply that to the wheel. So we'll finish that up and then we'll paint it. Now we're ready for the black paint. Uh, again, shake up the can real good. Make sure that the uh, ball moves freely in the can. And we'll go ahead and apply a light coat of black. Again, three light coats, and then uh, after you've got the three light coats on, then go ahead and put a couple coats of clear, and you've got it done. Okay, we've got the last coat of clear on the black, and now we'll wait for it to dry a little bit, and we'll unmask it, and you'll see the results. Okay, we've unmasked the tape from the wheel. As you can see now, the black and the silver together. And as, you've, uh, as you're looking at it, you'll notice there is a bit of bleed through. You can see a little bit down here, and also on the side. As this dries good, uh, preferably overnight, take a rag and some rubbing compound and rub those edges. When you rub the edges, that'll bring you back a nice smooth edge and you won't see any, any deformities there. Again, uh, thanks for watching 1970 Chevelle Man YouTube videos. I uh, hope you, you watch more of my videos. And next year we're going to put these wheels on the Chevelle and you'll get the chance to see them on my Chevelle. And, uh, Again, thanks for watching and hope this was uh, good information for you.